Hey folks, I'm HP and this is Dr. Pink and today I'm going to talk about a wild finger-picking rock riff. Wow, it's a complicated title, but to play it sounds really complicated, I'll show you what I mean. <laughs> stuff like that so uh, let's get started with that one first of course uh, sound settings as you can hear what's this dr. pink what's that a drop D tuning <laughs> of course drop D tuning meaning the low E string is um, tuned down to a D which has the big advantage that the low east the, the low three strings become a power chord just like this now i, I have a medium gain um, distortion is a, i think it's a friedman amp on my x fx2 processor i really love that one and the crunchy one and as you can hear a ping pong delay going left right left right set on the speed of the song um, this is play with finger picking um, the chords are very easy so zero 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 two 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 three 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 and five 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 these are the chords which are coming here uh, but the finger picking pattern is maybe not so easy because um, you need to play with finger picking because then that's a really crunchy thing. See? So you play thumb and index, middle finger. You always make do, da, gu, da. See? Then you switch the chords. Do, da, gu, da, gu, gu, da. Wait. <laughs> okay. Do da gu da gu do. <laughs> oh man, it's so complicated to explain. I don't really think when I'm playing. So one, two. This one is played all with all together with three fingers. So do. Then comes thumb in the other no, I had two. See? First part and second part. Then same pattern, but now you make this slide without a tagging slide up and down. That's the main pair with the chords. And now we add, um, add a uh, fill in. So I like this one. Is that really that one? That one. Wait. It's like that one. So, what is happening here? First of all, the picking um, technique is very simple, and but it's very efficient to get the speed. So we we start with a hammer roll, zero three five. So zero three five, then as hammer on, then we attack the A string with the index finger before we attacked 
the low D string now with the thumb, then comes the index finger. So, see? Hammer again, on again. And now with the middle finger we attack the uh, D string. That's the first um, motion here. And that goes very fast, very fluent. I really love that one. Now from now on, then is I make a, a little pull-off trick. So now three zero, five zero, three zero, five zero, three zero, five zero, three zero, five. Somehow you just need to end up here on the fifth fret so now let's give it a try <laughs> now the second fill Oops, <laughs> well, how did I play? I think I was like this, sorry. My brain, my brain. <laughs> Okay, so same beginning. But now we slide up. From now on, same beginning. Zero, three, five, two, uh, three, five, three. Now slide up from five to seven. And then five, pull off, seven, pull. And then end up on the seventh fret. And that's basically the main riff. And now we add the delay. And now it sounds really fat and white. Yeah, if you want to go into improvisation, then hold it on on the main pattern. And then you can make different types of chords. So as, here's 12, 12, 12, 10, 10, 10, 7, 7, 5. So you can do something like this. Or I don't know, or the opposite, or any combination. I don't know what. <laughs> and at the spot where we had the single note lines, you can add any kind of single note line or any kind of solo fill-in as you like then you can make it go more wide and more cool and complex but always keep the main pattern in your mind and come back to it as after a certain time that a listener still knows oh, okay this guy no, knows what he's doing <laughs> uh, I had a link to a version of mine which I recently played just uh, it was an improvisation uh, and then later on I said okay that's a cool riff I need to find out how that works um, yeah and so 
this side and I'll explain to you. And I hope you like that one. And sorry, guys, I didn't go to close it, but I, I find it's not necessary here because what you want to see from the close you? I mean, the chords are so simple. Uh, there's nothing to see. It's more the, the whole thing and get in the groove. And um, even uh, the chords are very simple. Even the rhythm is not too hard. The speed is pretty pretty demanding. And last but not least, uh, the, jam, the jam track uh, link will be added as well. The jam track um, itself is only drum and bass, so the guitar makes the whole full sound. That, so you don't have any space for mistake or any space for holding on and doing nothing. You always need to be in, in motion, always do something, always keep it groovy. And that's the main task on uh, this tutorial here. Yeah. And I just love this drop D sound. I don't know why, it's just bad and evil. <laughs> yeah, so keep it going and we are, me and Dr. Pink are signing off. <laughs>